Okay, this is cool, because their camp is in the, uh, the range for this event, and we don't even have to do it. All we have to do is be here and not fall off the roof. Yeah, try switching to team again, Basil, and see if that'll work. Okay. <coughs> you hear me now? Yeah, are you on team? Yeah, I'm on team. Okay, I mean, are you, is your voice set to team? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Let me ask about people talking. It's one little house here in the middle of the floor. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, um... Okay. <laughs> Do what? This is not OSHA compliant. Okay. This house floating in the air? It's not OSHA compliant. Definitely so. not. Let me help me understand what's going on here. Okay, okay so, so there's, there's a windmaker, and it, it's blowing. It's a snow machine. There. It's a snow machine. Oh, oh snow, snow machine. machine. Okay, I got it. Yep. So that's that's cool. cool. Especially if you have uh, like a Christmas thing. Yep. I'm gonna go down in their vault real quick and see if it's worth looking at. Okay, call on you. We don't got to. It might suck. Oh no, 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 no. Let me back out, let me back out. I want my reward for the event that I'm not participating in. Mmm, chips. No. Popcorn? Churro flavored almonds. Really? Oh my god, they're good. That does sound good. Okay. They're almost done. They're almost done with the event. And then when they get to ki they kill everything, we'll go check out the, the vault. I didn't give it a chance to, like, really render or anything, but there may not be anything down there. Midweek. Midweek. Alright. All right. So, okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Here's the last, the last thing to kill. Am I what? No, 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 okay, okay, okay. promo cuts. Oh, okay, we have, we have the promo cuts again. Yeah. yeah. Do that, do that no, it's, 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 al it's almost done. Okay. Yeah, they just have to kill one giant monster, and then it's done. And by the time we get over there, he'll probably be dead already. I mean, they still got four minutes to... There we go. Now let's see what this vault has. Cool. Ooh, it's spooky cultist stuff. Getting in the Michael Jackson bed. Look! Look at the sign on the wall. Okay. Okay. I feel refreshed. Let me look at the sign on the wall. Let's see. It says Hicks. I picked up an SOS beacon on my Pit Boy. Please keep an eye on Newt BRB Ripley. That's fantastic. Isn't that awesome. Disrupt this very important stuffed animal meeting. Okay, let's see what's in her. Oh, apparently the lab. Ooh, 
It's a lab of fun. <laughs> Welcome to the lab of fun. Welcome. Somebody's got a super fun bedroom. Kids truck bed. Rognack figure. Yep. Let's see. I think that's. I think that's all their vaults. Oh. oh wait. Yeah, there's the one we just came out of. Yeah, I think I just have the two. Do mm. do. And this is Labergasted's base. Are they still? Oh, they're still here. Let me ask them. I'm gonna turn on the area just for a second and ask them if it's okay if I. Uh, Can use their video. Where'd they go now? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I don't remember how to get in up there. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Hey, flabbergasted. Um, I was wondering if oh, you, oh, oh, if you would mind oh, if I used your video no. on my YouTube Everyone channel. I just basically post cool time. camps and stuff that I find it in the wasteland, like a thumbs Camera up or a thumbs cool. down or Camera. whatever would be super useful. Sure. sure. I've awesome. spent so much time. Well, do you want to do the Halloween Three, one or this one? Oh, oh, I'll do them both. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Um, this one. Oh, I've just been working on this, and I keep moving walls around and rearranging. And I know how it goes. Yeah, so, um, but I can activate my Halloween camp. It's basically finished. I just ran out of budget with it, so. That would be super uh, cool. Let me hop down all on the right. ground. Um, why don't I make a new, are you already on a team? I am. Hold on. Okay, so. Uh, now you can travel to it for free, and let me activate it. Okay, we're I appreciate to... that. Basil, we're about to hit the ground. Yep, I already jumped down. <laughs> it's not, it's not far drop anyway. No, kind of fun. Not authorized to make exchanges. But this would be the way to build a house in the toxic valleys, like off the ground, out of the muck. Yeah, and I wanted a Christmas house because I already have a Halloween house, and this looks white like snow, even though it's really oh, there you go, that makes sense. Totally not snow, but um, it's white and kind of blends in. And I built right over this junk pile, thinking I was going to put the extractor down, but every time I do, something attacks something it. So now it up. it's just now it's just junky in my front yard. Yeah, it's still on theme. Yeah, it's Fallout. <laughs> Now, when you travel to the Halloween camp, um, just be careful, careful because it is a random spawn site for cryptids. Okay. So every time somebody travels in, a new one comes in, which is kind of fun. Yeah, that is cool, especially for a Halloween camp. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to disappear okay. off chat here because I'm going to leave the area. But yeah, I'm very excited to see it. It's always so cool when people are like this, you know? All right, who's coming to get me now? Oh, it's a Grafton monster, of course. Alright.
I'm gonna talk without talking her ear. Yeah, this is cool. And yo, I always hate this music, but here it is perfect. He. Ha, <laughs> see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil candles, that's cool. Never seen those before. Keep that head up. Never, never know. I might miss otherwise. I suppose that's true. <laughs> Does that hang feet like it's an effect? Look at those feet. Where's that coming from? Okay, that's legit spooky. Ah, I want to lock the door. I'll talk. Okay, we'll ask him. Hey, if you get a chance, would you mind unlocking the haunted house door? I don't want to. I don't want to pick your locks. If you want to keep it private, I totally get that. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just thought of an idea for a, a Monty Python reference. You can have uh -huh. a kind of a bordello house. Uh huh. But then on the second floor, you open a door, and the only thing in the room is a bunch of skeletons and mailman uniforms. <laughs> uh, didn't they do that? Wait, well, yeah, that's or is an that actual your joke? Python sketch. No, that's an actual Wait, Python sketch. Okay, I was like... The postman, the postman rings, a lady in a nightie t takes him upstairs, yeah, closes very, the door, and there's old. all these mailmen. It's <laughs> crazy. Okay. Let me see. Uh, she wants to open the haunted house door. This is very cool. Oh, yeah, classic. In the, in the uh, little crafting nook here, there's like... Hmm? Like, feet, like, it's the shadow of someone who hung themselves or something. But you go in the room and they disappear. I can't even tell where it's coming from. It's very cool. And the, of course, all the, like, witches brew things and... Oh. Yeah, I don't want to pick that lock. <laughs> I don't want to pick the lock to the haunted house door. <laughs> no. I mean, she was nice enough to open this camp for us. I don't want to assume that she's cool with us picking locks. Oh no, okay. she died! What? She died? But, yeah. Oh! Look at Deathclaw out Excuse there. my language. I will avenge you. Stay out of the Woolworths. Okay. Yeah. Her alley also keeps like popping in and out of the floor, which is very spooky. Cool. I'm like, it's easy to just do like a pile of Halloween stuff and call it good, but she really gives a lot of thought to this. All right. There's architecture. There's a narrative. Yeah. And oh, like. Oh, I love this room. Yeah. Did you see? Yeah, the the little uh. Like tea room hey. or whatever. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were in team mode now. Oh, sorry. Or auto. Yeah. Oh, um. But could you hear me? Uh, it's a lot better at nighttime. When it's Ew. dark out in the game, there oh, are colors. Idea. Yeah, there's colored lights that I put inside the towers, red oh, and cool. green and blue. And there's a light that shines down on the um, what's it called, Blue Devil outside. Okay. Oh, yeah. nice. 
Okay. Well, if you like leaving it up that long, I'll come back and check it out when it gets dark. But I don't know if I'm going to be on that long or not either. Well, time goes so fast in the game, it'll yeah. probably be dark in like 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Is, um... Is this locked haunted house door private? Stuff back there? This is just going outside. Oh, I did okay, that okay. because when I started working on the camp, I locked the doors because I was uncertain how I wanted to build it and what it looked like. I didn't know if I liked it. And that I'm like, makes well, sense. I want, you know, I wanted to finish it before anybody saw it. No, that makes a but, lot of sense. But people have this perk card equipped, apparently, that I don't have and don't want it. But they have a perk card equipped so that if they just go up to a locked door, it easily unlocks. Yep. Well, I kept seeing wanted people on the server every time I got <laughs> on, and I didn't realize wow. it was my fault. They were running up to my front door and just opening it with that perk card, <laughs> and then they were wanted. So I decided to do the back door and see how many people just blazed through it and were wanted on the server. This it's kind soup of funny. is delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of You're funny. You're supposed to be bobbing for apples, but... Do you want to oh, I thought it was soup? really thin do soup. You. I'm kidding. <laughs> but like if your house is a kiss of death for people that is kind of cool too yeah so that's that's kind of the thing yeah well awesome i'm gonna go yeah. around for a while and i'll come back when it gets dark and check it out. when you go well this thing is hard to see when it's dark if you go in this iron maiden uh-huh i've got a skull sunk down in there the skull with the candle so when you go in oh nice what? Okay. Now when you come out, it looks like that's your head for a moment. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta do this. And this one this. looks like it's climbing, yes. like, like coming climbing out, out of the armor, yeah. thing and pushing the helmet off. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. me and Virgin Antiques. Mm -hmm. I keep putting the witch dress on my ally and she keeps putting her clothes back on, but... But I, I saw, put it back on here. Yeah, as I say, I thought I saw her in the witch dress, but yeah, it's weird when they when they change clothes on their own. My ally in um, I've got Johnny Bello in my camps, and he keeps taking all his clothes off. I like, know. At first, I thought it was because I had the same ally, and when I switched camps, I tried to put different clothes on them at different mm. camps to suit the camp. Like I have a right. I have a pirate camp too, so. The ally there, I've got a pirate outfit on him and the captain's hat, and um, I could show you that one if you want. That to would be su that was my next question. Yes, I've got five camps. Oh my gosh! And, wow. Yeah. Oh, this and, tour. All right, let me activate the pirate. One. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll also send you a friend request, and then I can let you know when the video goes okay. up. Okay. Awesome. I've got I've got like a backlog of videos now, but they're going they're going pretty fast. It's not like they take a lot of editing time you know okay it's so weird when a camp disappears and it's just so it is, it is. kind of sad <laughs> it kind of is there it is you got the little boat icon on it even yeah i've got like my regular camp and i've got like my dorky uh McElroy fan camp, and then I've got like a cliffside, very nice view, oh. very basic, like very rustic camp. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Let's see, this one is cool. Ah. I'm gonna put his pirate outfit back on again. At least he's not nude. I hear a scorched out there somewhere. It's probably gonna get me while I'm in my menu. Oh. I can, uh, I can I cover for you guys. Yeah, I don't think he's close. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not picking anything. I like your garden. I like the organization of it. Thank you. It's very much like the square foot gardening that people do. Yeah, I've tried that in real life. Yeah. So, um, it's, it works okay. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of half-assed tried it, so I didn't really get very far with it. Um... Basically, it takes it's 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 a soil management game with a, with a square foot gardening, and I just didn't have the patience yes, or time is. to do it right. It really is. Oh, do you guys remember what the hat is called? That's like the boat captain. 
or a boat. Mm. I had him. All, I had it on him, and I don't remember what it's called. Like, like a oh, is it called a pirate, the, like a pirate hat? Well, I have the pirate hats, but on him I put the white hat, like he's the um. I can't remember what that's called whatever. either. Yeah, I can't remember what that's called either. Yeah, this is very cool. The trick with these prefabs is making them your own, you know? That's true. I like the curtains up here for sales. I was hoping for a pension, but all I got is pension. <laughs> I've been eaten by a spore plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll feel so much better when it's over. You'll be so rested. Imagine that. Yeah, this one has pink and green and different colored lights on it that really stand out more at night time cool. on the ship. So that's so funny Very to watch nifty. it spit somebody else out. But <laughs> <laughs> those big teeth looking things. Blah. Yep. This a is a very con green. <laughs> this is a very convenient camp because it's right across from the railroad station. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if you feel like like popping one of the other camps up, I would be super happy to see all of your camps. But I also don't want to take up too much of your time either. Oh no, listen, I needed a break. I've been working on the Christmas camp all day. I'm so indecisive sometimes. And well, I burn myself. It is hard, you know, because on the one hand, we have so few options, but on the other hand, it's always sometimes more options just to think about, you know, more options than you really need. It's like, do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it that way? Well, my problem is I keep building so big that I don't leave myself enough room in the budget for decorating. And I yeah. think I did it again with this camp, but I'm trying not to let it bother me too much. Yeah. Well, plants are expensive on your budget too. But your garden's so nice, you don't want to take it out. You know? Oh, yeah. On oh, this yeah. camp, I'm done. I meant the Christmas camp oh, that I'm working oh, on oh, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I is got hard. a lot of a lot of space and walls hey, that boy. won't be doubled. And, and I'm learning how to hide the wiring. Oh, but nice. I haven't done it on that camp yet. I'll just do it last, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you, gotta, yeah, you want to put everything where you want it and then, um, and then put the wires in for sure. Yeah. Okay, like so... I do like how you switched your uh, your veggies in here. They look so nice. Well, this is a blueprint someone gave me, and I, for the life of me, still have not figured out. Unless they're using a flamer, like to destroy a plant, but I tried it and I couldn't use. I couldn't get it to work. I've seen um, a couple a couple videos on like merging plants close together, and I just I just didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh -huh. This is a this is a mandala of gourds. It looks like yes. lace, doesn't it? It, it looks does. like a, a doily, like an it's older doily. lady used to have on her table or nightstand. Mm -hmm. or it's a gourd yeah. doily. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, we'll go to White Springs next. Okay. Very cool. This is one of the things, I, like, sometimes I'll get on and I'll just look at people's camps, because people do so much cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, they just, I'm just not good at decorating at all. I'm more into the structure. I like snapping everything together and building. It is satisfying. And then when I get through with that, I'm like, ugh, now what? I don't know where to put anything. So. Well, I, well, I think your decorating looked really good, honestly. Because, mm -hmm. oh, like, especially, well, like, you. in the haunted house, like, yeah. it wasn't yeah. overdone. But it's, it, was, it was spooky without trying too hard. I'm going to cram all the creepy shit in here. You know, well, thank you. It, it was, uh, it looked very, um, it looked very real. That makes sense. I like. Thank it. you. Yeah. Um, the White Springs uh, camp. Whenever new players run up, they run past it because they think it's part of White Springs, like the whole. Oh, that's cool. And nice. um, I tried to kind of blend it in. Mm -hmm. I like when so, people really make their camps fit in where they are. Yeah. Um, or they ask me, "Is that a prefab?" And I'm like, "No, it's just the house." <laughs> that's a big compliment. So, yeah. Yeah. I have to do the evil thing that I always do when I'm at White Spring, which is run over here to the cabanas and incur the wrath of the zombies. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. And then drag them back to the front, to the front entrance. And, and then, let and them have the robot. Fight yeah. each other? Oh, yeah. you're. It's the best. <laughs> Sometimes there's a white that I can do when I get kind of. 
bored in the I don't really get real bored in the you game, but sometimes I want something different to do and I just mm. go to a Morgantown or somewhere to start shooting everything. Yep. Yep. But that's that's uh some fun right there too. There's I a place by the I did it at West Tech a lot. I'm gonna go kill a bunch of stuff. I'll go get the super mutants at West Tech. They're always yeah. a good target. Yeah, I've, 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 I'm starting trouble. I've, I've started lots of trouble in the in the front gate, the front That's entrance. Of the place. <laughs> wow! Yeah. I just took this top part <laughs> apart, and I don't think I like it. It with the solid walls. It was okay. all one big room, but I got the new shower and the new tub, and I wanted to put stuff in here. And now I'm like, well, this doesn't feel warm and homey anymore. I think it's the wallpaper, though. I think it is, because, like, the... What? I've actually seen, like, furniture like this in a bathroom, you know? Yeah. And I do like the, yeah. the, the fireplace and the hunter, the rustic fur bed together. And well, this is animal. what I do with my fireplaces. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't put the walls up. I leave the walls off, and I set the... These are two fireplaces stacked on top of each other. Hey there. So yeah. that I have one chimney... There's a fireplace downstairs and upstairs this way, but also I use the flamer to destroy both of them. Uh -huh. And then I put the walls back in, and when I repair the walls and they pop in, you have the fireplace showing outside like a real house. Oh, and very cool. Nice. Yeah, very and then cool. I get on the roof and I flame the very top piece of the fireplace and I put a fireball in it so that it <laughs> smokes from the outside. Cool. I've heard. I'm gonna have to go up there and look at that. I've heard about people. Yeah. I've, blah, blah, blah. I've heard about people doing that, but I haven't actually seen someone do that yet. Yeah, I used to put the little generators yeah. in there, and um, I taught people how to do that. And then the only thing was the smoke went down into the house. But now that I have these fireballs, the smoke goes straight up. That's interesting. So. I would not have figured that they would go to that level of detail to make the smoke go into the house if appropriate well it's just a generator you set it on the ground yeah. and smoke yeah. kind of hovers on the ground mm -hmm. so it just worked temporarily for what i needed but when i got the opportunity to got the to get these things there's a small medium and large fire and you can just mm -hmm. put a little round thing like a stack of coals you set on the ground or anywhere and make something look like it's on fire but it also smokes a lot so i think this was a small one that i yeah merged in there that's cool yeah yep yep and so i redid the kitchen because nobody could find my register um, oh no you know they're always like where where i see them running around everywhere <laughs> yeah, i think right. it's obvious now yeah <laughs> okay. yep yep okay all right so I will activate. Oh, and so see, you can see if you come on the porch or come around this side, the mm -hmm. fireplace shows on the outside this way. And what you do is you, oh, that is cool. Uh, that's two fireplaces and then a bunch of extensions on top of them, maybe mm -hmm. two or three. And then you get the flamer and sit on the bottom floor and just it destroys it all the way up. And then you can put walls in. And repair the fireplace last, and it'll just gotcha. all merge together. Gotcha. That is that is clever. Yep. Okay. Mountain camp. Mountain camp. Now this one is at the very. I tried to have them at all four corners of the map, and this one's very, okay. <laughs> very far, in the southwest corner. Okay. It's above the yellow. Oh, I see it. Says, uh, okay. I see it. And it is my pet. The death claw is my pet. So, <laughs> okay. So you don't I'll have to try to kill it. It shouldn't bother you. Hey, buddy. Oh, this is a great view. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Wow. There are so many amazing vistas in this game. I really like when people take advantage of them. Yeah, this is, you get to see the ash and the green. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. here. That's mm -hmm. what I liked about it. Yeah. Uh, I only have the turrets pointing at, the, pointing at these trees because there's a random spot 
walk right past them. And, oh, I guess Boogie killed him. <laughs> I've had him for like six or seven months. It's the longest that's I've ever had a pet. Yeah, that's his name, Boogie. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, especially like Death Claws. I hear like oh, some people, now most people in the game are cool and I've never known anyone to do this, but it seems like rumor has it people will go like kill Death Claws in people's camps just for the fun of it. I think if you're in passive mode, somewhere I think I thought that I read that applies that to your it, pets soon. That it won't hurt it, but that's, maybe this one's just alive this long because nobody ever comes down here. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's another thing I was gonna say. Maybe it's like hardly anyone comes here to mess with your stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did my first. I wanted a cabin, but I wanted like a big glass wall with a view. Too bad the windows in these builds or kits are so dirty. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can see better outside. And then I have a upstairs here that's like a little, what would you call this? Uh, um, you call this upstairs in a cabin, a loft. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, and yeah, I wanted to use, the, the only reason I don't use the haunted house staircase, which is prettier, is you get stuck at the top and you have to jump uh, up to get over the top yeah. stuff, so. I, I think this, um, more streamlined one fits with your aesthetic in here, though, to be honest. Oh, you do? Yeah, because you got, yeah. like, the metal beams, like, the plain metal beams. Oh, and the true. And the, the plain metal beams on the staircase. Yeah, I think it works really well. I think the other yeah. one would be too much. And I did have the little girl as the ally here. That's why this is supposed to be. Oh, okay. I had her sitting up here, and I merged the teddy bears down down in the train. I thought that was kind of... That is cute. Fun. That is very cute. <laughs> but, uh, so she sat up here, and she fit really well up here. And then I decided to go with the chef after I got her. I oh, yeah. She's, ha she's handy. Her stove's here, but she's... I guess Boogie ate her or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Bad boy. <laughs> cool. I like the plants and the and the cat around the, the fountain. Thank you. I didn't really want it, the rock and roll thing over the door, but I wanted more color up there. Mm hmm and, yeah, um, I don't have. I've seen some people have the big neon lettering. I guess they can spell out things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, that be, would be pretty there. If I got that, that, that much. Yeah. Well, you know, I have that lettering. I've got a couple minutes. If you want to tell me what you want, if we, get, if we go to a private team, I can build in your camp and I can put lettering up if you want. You think about it. We're friended now, if you I assume. Yeah, but like, uh, you can, um, you just decide what you want, and if you feel like there's something you want, then just, you know, find me sometime, I guess. I might buy, buy uh, <laughs> I mean, my YouTube channel is Wasteland Rover, so you can find me and email me there too. I mean, my email. Yeah. Channel, yeah. So. Okay. So. <clears throat> let me let me look, look it up right now, or, or, or at least right now. I'll, 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 I'll just give you the email. It's Diana Genta uh -huh. at gmail.com. Okay. Get them Deathclaw. Oh no, too late. It's good that I only, only have to have, have those two turrets pointed right at those trees. And that is super awesome. Now one day somebody might actually kill him, but so far not. Yeah. I mean, especially if you get mostly ghouls, they're not going to be able to hurt him that bad. Well, thank you for showing me your stuff. I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, that was very You're cool welcome. of you. And I will, um... I will, uh find you when you're next time you're on game after the video goes up and I'll let you know. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs>